Hello everyone, this is Globko and Zaxki. We are Magical Move doing another achievement called Ton of Bullets. Yes, and it's an awesome achievement it, to do, and it really didn't took long at all. No, it's really, <laughs> really fun to do. It's awesome. It requires you to fire 10,000 bullets without receiving any damage and zombie damage. Zombie damage is punches, it's bullets, it's everything, it's explosions. You can't get hit by anything. You can track this achievement by going on the achievements menu uh, and clicking the achievement. It, it can track it and it will be pretty useful because as soon as you get hit, even if you don't notice, the, the counter will reset. Uh, that's when you give up and you try again. <laughs> <laughs> and try not to rage quit because I think I was, uh, I was close a couple of times and I think you as well. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> This is uh, the perk list I used. There are three perks that are absolutely necessary, which is the dexterity, and that requires quick fingers, and the heavy ammo. Basically, those give you a faster reload time, and uh, heavy ammo gives you more bullets per clip on any weapon. And the others are just personal preference. And I, once again, I got the barricade warehouse. Yes, it's, it's really the, the best one to do. Oh. Uh, here you can see that uh, Globko is standing on the on the sentry. Um, the third bar on the bottom, you can see there's an experience bar. If it goes up, uh, it levels one level up, and well, it has a stronger bullet then. Yeah, it's so a, a stronger uh, weapon basically. Yeah. And okay. uh, yeah, I'm not killing any zombies because you want wave one and wave two to last as long as possible. Because there are no bosses on the first two waves. You can just fire uh, at random directions. Pick up a machine gun as soon as you see a machine gun. Okay. And uh, for the first two waves, no, you don't really need to to kill any zombies. The the sentry guns will take care of it. On wave three, you want to go up. And the first boss I got was a brawler, so it's it's not a big problem. The big problem it, uh, on this for this achievement are the bosses that fire bullets. So the minigun and the machine gun boss. Those yes. <laughs> that is actually the hardest part about this achievement. The, the achievement overall isn't that hard, it's just the gunners. The, the gunners, they, they chase you, they... Oh, every time I got hit, it was always by a gunner. <laughs> On wave four, you want to do the same. You want to go up and see what bosses, what boss is going to spawn. And since this is a cutoff zombie, I just treat him like a normal zombie. I go down to the to the sentry gun and keep leveling it up because it's very useful to have two fully leveled up sentry guns. By the way, uh, you want to pick the scout for for this achievement. And here's a machine gun. This is wave 15. This is towards the end. Um, you want to pick the the scout because the AK-47 does plus 10% damage with the scout and that is very very useful for bosses. The way I do this is I I take the AK-47 and kill bosses with it because it kills them very very fast and other than that I try to keep the minigun as much as possible. So my two favorite weapons for this achievement would be the minigun to fire more weapons uh, on a short time and uh, the AK-47 to kill bosses. Uh, I used uh, AK-47 to do everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by the time that you wrote th that you uh, reload the minigun, you already shoot a half. I've shot uh, a half clip of the AK-47. Yeah, so but I still, the, the minigun with uh, with the dexterity uh, perk can be pretty strong. But so, like Sexy says, it's not a major difference, but the minigun does fire more bullets than the AK-47. So if you're just going with the AK-47, don't feel too bad about it. It's not that much of a difference. But if you can, if you want to maximize uh, the time in which you do this achievement, you you want to take the minigun. Uh, machine gun zombie. <laughs> right <laughs> after a minigun zombie. This this is towards the end of the achievement. You can see I have 9,000 bullets on, on the bottom already. Yeah. And you can feel your heart start pounding really hard. <laughs> <laughs> have you had Have you had the uh, two together, the machine gun and the minigun zombie? Uh, yes. <sighs> I th if that, think yeah. not in this video, no. But I've had it before, and it's almost impossible. Yes, I I had that one when I was on uh, nine point 
9,100 bullets. <laughs> <laughs> I got the two machine gun zombies at the same time. Oh, yes. No, oh no, no, no. <laughs> lucky I got these two melee and uh, by this time I was kind of panicking I, I, I didn't even switch to the AK-47 because I was just like I'm just gonna make the fucking achievement and I'm just gonna <laughs> fire as many bullets as I can but then I realized it wasn't possible so I switched to the AK-47 and start killing the brawler my my sentry guns as you can see they are completely empty so em <laughs> sentry guns are quite useful on this if the bullets yeah. are empty it's because they are working yeah if you see them running out you have to go really try to go as soon as possible to them because uh, the, there are also the the little zombies can be quite annoying because yeah. you don't always see them coming through the yeah. through the fences and by this time I thought I was done I got the achievement and the minigun zombie spawned and look how lucky <laughs> I was I got a cloak oh <laughs> what <laughs> if oh, I didn't get so lucky if, if I didn't get that cloak I would be dead <laughs> There was no, there is no simple way to make this achievement. There used to be, if you went on a mission and just left one zombie alive and fired bullets on another way, it was possible, but that has been fixed. So now, there is no easy way to do this. Oh, I want to do a special thanks to Celia for taking so much of my time to this. <laughs> <laughs> and I will search a very nice achievement to do for you as well. 